Hey everybody, it's Jason from the Texas Gun Vault, and today I'm coming to you with an unboxing and a review of a holster from Craft Holsters. They contacted me through my email address for the channel, texasgunvault at gmail.com, and said, hey, we are a custom holster maker, and we would like for you to review one of our holsters if you would be interested. Well, I said, of course I would be interested in. And they have a very extensive selection of both leather and Kydex holsters for, I believe, over 1,300 different firearms. As I said, it's a pretty extensive list of what they can make, and they custom make every order. In fact, when they uh, asked me what gun I would like to have a holster made. I said I'd like a Kydex holster for an HK USP Compact 40. They said, okay, we'll have it out to you. The lead time is probably going to be three to four weeks. And it really was three to four weeks. They shipped it from Europe and it got here in about three days. So we're going to unbox this. Now, all I tell you, I've already unboxed it, just made sure everything was in the package. Uh, but I am not getting any compensation for this review. I always tell you guys the terms. I don't get any type of kickback code. So if you go to their website and buy a holster from them, I get nothing in return. All they did was make me and send me a holster for review. That is it. And so I can give my honest impressions and opinions on this. So let's adjust the camera. Let's unbox this. Let's see what's in here and let's see how it works with the gun. All right, so here's the box it came in, and it has their motto right here on top, Custom Holsters for Everyone, and it is a trademarked uh, motto, I guess, from Craft Holsters. So I've already opened it, as I said before, but well, let's see what's inside it. They sent me a nice little note. They said, hey, Jason, your first custom-made holster is here, and I hope you'll really love it. Can't wait to watch your review of it, Al. And Al is the guy that I was corresponding with from the company. They appear to put a little bit of straw in here as packaging. It's kind of quaint, like that. They also seem to give you a chamber indicator, I guess. That's kind of cool, I guess. And then we have the holster itself. So let's get this out. And as I said, I've already opened it just to make sure everything was in here and that it actually was for the gun that they claimed. The packaging on this says Falco as compared to the uh, other website I bought it from, Craft Holster. So I don't know if it's the, kind of the same company that's based in Europe and this is the packaging that they use over there. Uh, it says premium quality, uh, perfect fit gun holsters, tradition since 1989. It says the Gun Holsters Company. Um, so I haven't checked out Falcon holsters, but that's what this package says. They said they got leather, Kydex, nylon, tactical equipment, and hunting equipment. So nice packaging here. So here is the Kydex holster. I asked for right hand, and normally I don't like Kydex holsters. Uh, I'm kind of a leather guy, but I really thought that if I was going to carry my HK USP Compact, I'd like to have a, I'm going to say tactical holster, or a gun that kind of fit the theme of the, of the HK a little bit more. You know, they're a polymer gun, so I thought, let's go with a Kydex holster versus a leather one. So that's what I asked for, and it seems to be very well built. I like the uh, look of it. It seems to be constructed well. It is uh, solid. As I said, it took them about three weeks to make it and send it to me. And as I said, supposedly these are all made to order. So if you look at their very extensive list, I can't imagine that they have a warehouse full of holsters. So really, if you have some type of rare gun that's on their list that they can make a, a holster for, they can, I guess, pull the mold off the shelf and custom make it for you. So, uh, as I said, it's right hand and inside the waistband. So let's try the fit with this particular gun. So here is the USP Compact 40. Slides in there really nice. That looks good. No issues there. Let me get it in and out. Ooh, it has some nice retention to it. I do like that. So it takes a little bit of effort to get out, which I do like a lot with a Kydex holster. So I definitely think if I turn this thing upside down, that is not gonna come out. Yeah, so that is nice and nice and solid. I'm kinda doing it kinda hard there. Yep, that is in there, nice and solid. I don't see it rubbing on any part of the gun. So that looks good as well. Let's look inside the holster here. I don't see any unusual wear, anything that would concern me. It really has a very nice, snug fit. It's really easy to get in and out with some good retention there. 
going in is really easy. And as I said, holds in there great. All right, so let me put this thing on my belt and see how I like it. All right, so here we go. I'm wearing my Core Essentials EDC belt. And before I put this holster on the belt, yes, I know I have a tactical dad bod. No one in the comment section needs to tell me about that I need to lose some weight or that I'm fat. I already know. I love food, so just get over it. All right, so here's the holster. Let me loosen the belt up just a little bit. Snap it over the holster. That fits nice and snug. Tighten the belt back up. All right, so everything feels good. The holster is not collapsing under the tension of the belt. Let me take the firearm, pop it in there, and that goes in nice and easy. I think it looks good, it feels good. No problem so far, nothing sticking out that shouldn't be sticking out. Let me get the firearm out. It definitely has some uh, retention to it, I like that. It's definitely not loose, but it's not too tight. It's a very nice uh, balance. So I would definitely feel very secure having this in this holster. I don't, I don't feel like it would, it would come out unless I really want to pull it from the uh, holster. That is nice, I like that. So really easy to get out, but nice retention. Everything seems to feel good. So I think if I had a coat or something over this shirt, uh, it would conceal absolutely fine. I don't really feel it weighting down on the belt. Uh, nothing's digging into my skin. I really, really like this setup. All right, so let me adjust the camera and I'll give you my final thoughts. All right, so I gotta say, I am super impressed with this holster from Craft Holsters, or as it says on the sticker, Falco. But I'm gonna put a link to Craft Holsters in the description below so you guys can go check out their website. As I said, they're the people that contacted me and they claim they can make holsters for over 1,300 firearms in Kydex, leather, nylon, and maybe they even have a few other options. Now, this is just an example of one, so I can't tell you what the quality of their leather holsters is, but I'm not really much of a Kydex holster guy and that's kinda of why I wanted to try it out. Kinda of gets me out of my comfort zone of leather and I gotta say, I love this thing. This is definitely going to go into my EDC carry rotation and is going to be the holster that I carry this HK USB compact in. Let me give you a couple of other close-up shots of it here. There it is. Very sturdy, very well built. And I'm just overall very impressed. So on my little rating system, how would I rate this? Well, I'm gonna give it five out of five stars. It's an absolutely perfect holster. It actually exceeded my expectations. You know, sometimes when you get these holster companies, they claim they're the latest and greatest. I don't think they necessarily claim that. They just say they just make good quality holsters and they absolutely do. It fits the gun honestly better than I thought. I like how it's kind of minimalistic and that it doesn't have more than what it needs. It's not overly big. I like how it has the flap for the side. It makes uh, for me and my body shape it prevents the gun from digging into my side, which I like a lot. I can access the gun quickly. It does everything it's supposed to and seems to be high quality. So I really can't sing their praises anymore. So go check out their website. As I said, I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, check out if it's uh, something that you guys would be interested in and they make one for your particular gun. Their customer service seems to be really good. They have fast shipping and each holster is made to order. So there you go. A Kydex holster from HK USP Compact from Craft Holsters, five out of five stars. Go check them out. And I think you guys would be really happy with them. So there you go. So that is my review. So have you guys ever bought anything from Craft Holsters? Have you even heard of them before? I know I had it, but I will definitely order from them in the future. So let me know if you have any questions. And as always, thanks for watching.